what is blood sugar glucose? Hi guys, welcome to Healthy Bodies. So, you've probably all experienced blood sugar highs and lows from time to time, but do you really know what's causing them? So, in this video, we will explain what blood sugar glucose is and how you can control it. If your energy and concentration levels keep crashing, blood sugar fluctuations could be to blame, and you don't need to have diabetes to experience those highs and lows. So what is blood sugar? Blood sugar, also known as glucose, is the most important type of sugar found in the blood. And we get glucose by breaking down carbohydrates found in our food and drink. And glucose is the main source of energy for all the cells in your body. Your brain, for example, which uses 20% of your energy, needs a constant supply of glucose from your bloodstream to function properly. How does your body control blood sugar? If you're healthy and don't have diabetes, your blood sugar naturally goes up and down during the day and night. For example, you'll usually experience a temporary blood sugar spike after eating a meal. However, our bodies are usually good at controlling these peaks and troughs thanks to the pancreas, which controls blood glucose. And your pancreas produces two hormones that work in a finely tuned balance to keep blood sugar levels steady. Now, the first hormone that you're probably familiar with is insulin, and large amounts are released when your blood sugar levels go up, for example, right after a meal, to allow your cells to take up and use glucose in the bloodstream. And the second hormone is glucagon, and this is needed when your blood sugar levels drop. It helps stimulate cells, mainly in the liver, to release stored glucose into your bloodstream to boost energy levels. So what causes low blood sugar hypoglycemia? For many of us, it's simply a long gap between meals or fasting, but it can also happen if you drink too much alcohol or during pregnancy. And symptoms of low blood sugar include hunger, tiredness, shakiness and irritability. Another cause of low blood sugar in people without diabetes is what's known as reactive hypoglycemia, which is caused by eating a large carbohydrate heavy meal. And the meal can trigger an overproduction of insulin, which then forces a drop in blood sugar. It's more common in people who are usually overweight. So what causes high blood sugar hyperglycemia? You can experience a rapid rise in blood sugar if you eat foods that score high on the glycemic index. So foods like white bread, cakes and biscuits. And these are broken down faster into glucose than low glycemic index foods, which leads to a spike in blood sugar. However, people without diabetes are unlikely to experience these symptoms because the pancreas normally steps in to reduce blood sugar levels. And if you have been experiencing the following symptoms of high blood sugar, it's important to see your doctor to test for diabetes. And these symptoms include unusual thirstiness, frequent urination, tiredness, blurred vision, unexplained weight loss, um, tummy ache, nausea, vomiting, and a fruit smelling breath. How to keep blood sugar balanced. It's important to keep your blood glucose steady as both higher than normal levels and also reactive hypoglycemia are linked to an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. So the following tips can help you stay in control. Try eating foods that score low on the glycemic index, such as whole grains, most fruits, pulses and vegetables, because these are broken down more slowly into glucose for a gradual energy release. Also take regular exercise. It's been shown to improve your body's regulation of blood sugar and insulin sensitivity. And avoid eating big meals. Try eating smaller meals balanced with healthy snacks. And there are also certain herbs and supplements that can help maintain healthy blood glucose levels. And these include Cinnamon. A recent study found drinking cinnamon tea can help to lower post-meal blood glucose levels in people without diabetes. 
and also magnesium. Magnesium can help reduce blood glucose levels in people considered at risk of developing diabetes. And just remember your pancreas cannot regulate blood sugar levels properly when you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes and also occasionally blood sugar regulation can also be affected by some medications, certain health conditions such as hepatitis, anorexia and kidney disorders and hormone deficiencies. So if you have diabetes or concerns over controlling your blood glucose levels you should always ask for advice from your doctor. So we hope you found this information useful. We have many similar videos being created shortly. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And that way you will catch all the latest updates. Until next time, goodbye.